My name is Kripa Gauri Shankar and uh, I'm an assistant professor in the physics department. My research is a collaborative effort between uh, physics and biology and uh, we are uh, looking at the growth and development of this organism called Hydra, uh, which is a tiny organism that you can see with your naked eye in, and it lives in pond water. Uh, what is uh, interesting to us about this organism is that you can take the stem cells of Hydra and essentially make a pellet out of these cells and uh, new Hydra start regenerating from this mass of cells. As a physicist, it's interesting because you see how cells uh, separate and how interactions between cells ultimately govern the structure that forms. I teach both physics and biology courses and I try as much as possible to mix up concepts from one into the other. Um, in physics, I teach electricity and magnetism and one of the modules that uh, we looked at in class was the conduction of nerve impulses, which was quite exciting for the students. And uh, I teach a course in quantitative methods for biology students. And also, I'm involved in designing a biophysics course, uh, which is an advanced elective for the third year students. Both these courses are not really standard in a typical biolog biology curriculum. I'm hoping that my training in physics can add something new to this biology course. It's always interesting working with a diverse set of students and uh, in APU we have students who uh, not only come from different backgrounds but also have a very very wide range of interests. So in your physics class you might have somebody who is interested in philosophy or biology or education uh, and one of, I mean, definitely data science or math. Teaching to this kind of heterogeneous group of students is always challenging as a teacher, but most of the time, a lot of fun.